Hello, anybody who's bothering to watch these videos. Um, I'm back, and I'm here with, uh, who am I with again? Oh yeah, uh, Mr. Miyagi from Seven Samurai. Probably people have seen or heard of him if you've, you know, checked out the leaderboards. Dude's pretty good. Um, anyways, uh, it's always fun. I love um, just talking to people online, you know, seeing what's up. Turns out we're both around the same uh, part of the country, which is pretty cool. Um, actually, I think we're in the same city, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, it's always fun just playing people for fun, especially when they're on the 22K and stuff, because you can really see what you goof up. And it's just like a big epic battle clash, and it's just so much fun, so much more fun playing against a human when you have this like whole, you know, ah, oh, epic army of katana samurai and you know, Naginados. You know, screw it if it's not historically accurate, since nobody has Ashigaru at all. Uh, whatever. Anyways, got my typical heavy cavalry branch. Got the yike the uh, Yari and the Great Guard, um, a huge contingent on 22k battles. I just, I don't spam them, but I bring a ton of Katana Samurai in the front. Got my Naginata Samurai and my Kensei, Sword Saint, Katana Hero. I love this guy. He's got a uh, second rally ability, which is just straight up amazing. Um, anyways, and what's over here? Oh yeah, these guys, I think were mostly, no, I think they are promoted. They're just not very good. Oh, they also are promoted. They have a different name. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get to the battle. So we're on Shinano River. It's a cool map. I love it. I usually set up over here, but I had a feeling that Miyagi would think I was going to set up over here. He, like me, loves the cavalry and quickly sees that I have cavalry. I usually like to keep my guys hidden if I don't if they see that they don't have cavalry, but the minute I see that he's got a bunch, I got to get mine out of there because I got to make sure that it, it would actually cause a lot more trouble for me if he came over here. Um, although it would let me get an unimposed uh, like flank on him through the river, through the trees, whatever. Uh, it also means I've got six cavalry running around i got to deal with, and when I have a lot of swordsmen, that blows. Anyways, uh, I decided to send my infantry up, and then Naginata's follow, and i got some uh, matchlock monks in the back to hopefully do some sniping. Um, so, the, the key to this battle is, uh, I get totally out micromanaged in the melee fight, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Because um, he does end up sending some cavalry, realizing that that would be a pretty good move, because I don't have any over here. I have this one guy, but he doesn't know that. Um, and uh, I've got these monks here, and I realized far too late that they're just sitting out in the fucking open. They don't have, they're not in formation like, what, am I going to shoot me with like 10 guys? And uh, he, I don't have anything stopping him from flanking me, so he sends his guys over here. At this point, I'm at a pretty significant numbers disadvantage, just because I didn't actually fill out my army. My veterans are really expensive. And I'm like, yo, what's up? I got fire rockets. And he's like, no, you don't. And I was like, yo, I'll block your cavalry. And he's like, no, you won't. And I'm like, wow, um, this dude is wrecking me, uh, mostly because I'm a dumbass. At the same time, I have my cavalry over here. Neither of us know what the fuck we're doing with our cavalry because we're too busy microwaving over here. Luckily, I realized this, and I'm like, yo, let's charge in with my cavalry. So I sign one to each one of them, charge in, and while I'm distracted there, he just sits here with his cavalry because he is busy kicking the shit out of me. And as I mentioned with the micromanaging thing, he just gets a full, uninhibited charge on me, and my Katana Samurai, their number one awesome feature is the fact that they have 30 plus charge, every unit of them, and allowing him to negate my charge by charging first, that was pretty much inexcusable. Luckily, I have a little bit to show for it, because he doesn't realize what's going on with his thing, his cavalry, so I just get to plow right into them and uh, run them over. Uh, Back on the front lines, luckily he didn't bring very many range units either. I don't. I love melee fights, they're so fun. Although range units are probably smart. Um, on both our sides, I didn't bring very many. I finally got his guys tied up with my Nagina Samurai, so he didn't get to flank me, which was which is really, really helpful, because you can clearly see right there he was trying to flank me. And uh, his guys are getting chopped up by trying to run through a unit of Nagina Samurai. It doesn't really work too well. Back here, his cavalry have gotten killed, except for that unit there, so I can come back and finally, finally, it's like fucking reinforcements have arrived from Rome Total War or Medieval or something like that. Finally, I get to move all my dudes in. I forgot to take my Naginatas out of loose formation, so they sort of sucked over on this side. Over on this side, luckily, I'm holding my ground pretty well, mostly because I have my general in stand and fight, which gives a morale bonus, but he sends in his reinforcements, which really fill up a line that I'm not going to be able to cut through, so I'm really relying on my cavalry here. And uh, luckily, his cavalry are pretty much all gone. Uh, unluckily, he had a clear shot straight through the center of my line on my general with his bodyguard, and that proved to be almost fatal. Um, I did manage to get some sick cavalry charges from behind, as you can see here. Uh, it was really satisfying to see that happen. Unluckily, these guys got out of fighting right before I got there, and I didn't realize there was a Yari hero, and he shredded my guys. Uh, over here, I didn't, I just barely, I was really hoping this would happen. I just barely managed to get in before my Naginata Samurai broke. 
which means I got to get a charge instead of them all lolling around, which would have sucked. And I actually broke one of his units because of it. I realized he had a Yara Yara pretty fast, so I pulled out, pulled out these guys. And his general managed to drive off my guy. I don't think he killed him, if I remember, but I got another charge in over on this side. I mean, man, this whole battle, dude, this was really, really crazy. Um, that cavalry saved my butt. If he had managed to tie them up, maybe put them in wedge, weaken my guys too much, these charges would have sucked. Even so, he's got the center of the battlefield on the right side. I pretty much have managed to get control of the left, and we're sort of swinging slowly a battle formation over back around like this. My cavalry is all pretty much dead, because even charging monks from behind, you still take some serious losses, and they just goddamn will not break. And he's got two hero units, a katana and a yari hero, so I really am a little bit upset about that. I'm charging in, trying to keep his guys distracted. Luckily, for the first time ever, um, I don't know what happened to Kensei. Oh yeah, he's over here, fighting off his katana hero. Luckily for me, uh, Miyagi had a katana hero who was not very high veteran, so my katana hero actually managed to kill pretty much all his guys. At this point, I'm like, shit, my guys are wavering. I'm screwed. Um, luckily, uh, uh, that fatigue resistor war came, came, uh, shelled off fatigue of most of my guys. There's an exception. I mean, he's building it up over here. Um, so his guys are starting to fight less effectively. To be honest, the rest of this fight, we are just chilling here, fighting each other in melee until eventually... Uh, eventually what? How the hell did this battle end? I don't even remember. I think I just outnumbered his, his heroes couldn't hold us off anymore and my little core right here was bolstered by my katana hero and he charges in with his general and I'm pretty sure I just like select all, double right click on his general and he gets a couple of them killed off. He can't really get them all out of there. Yeah I did and you can see them going after him. And he, and he tries to run away but I catch him from behind and I think his, his general breaks or he either breaks or gets killed. Um, luckily my badass katana samurai are still fighting with only 20 guys left and no general and his general retreats off damn we're both down to two units each i mean this was this was a struggle i thought i really had it when those when those cavalry came up i'm like this battle's over we had a line of battle that was defined i was holding out and then that hole up the middle opened and he flattened my, my horses my horses are still sitting here because they didn't get driven off my general got killed and regardless it was a great fight i love playing people online for fun add me up anytime you guys want uh i think you're gonna have to add um, 